Welcome back to Wild Games TV, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode in the menu defenders, and this time we're gonna check out the top five assaulters. So my favorite top five assaulters in the game, and let's start with number five. Don't forget if you do not agree with my tier list, please drop a comment and let me see your tier list. What you think that the five uh, top assaulters are? Name them, and afterwards probably I will make a different kind of video. But until then, here are my top 5 assaulters. So we're gonna start with Ramses the second over here. And let's check out his skills. So his tower defense skills cause the judgment of light to deal 1000% damage to the enemy with the highest HP and stunning them for 5 seconds. Awesome, that's a good skill for the boss at the last wave. Okay, casts a dispel stress on the target, dealing 20% damage per second, lasting 50% seconds, stunning up to 3 times. Eye of the Horus over here increases attack target by 2. Okay, okay, so his PvP skills consumes 2 rage points using the power of the sun, deals a devastating blow to the enemy, dealing 227% damage. To the enemy. The enemy has its 35% chance of being stunned for 2 seconds and can be only stunned twice. Okay. As a great follow uh, blesses with royal blood, has a 30% chance of dealing 238% damage, most probably to the enemy target, marking them for 2 rounds. And the last one over here, as Guardian of the Sun, after being resurrected. You may have a violent effect which does 10% HP damage per turn and increases attack power by 68%. So this is quite quite a good skill over here, this one the Guardian. So this is the fact that he's on the 5th place and on the 4th place ladies and gentlemen. Let's check out, so the Assaulters, I'm gonna put Freddy over here. So check him out, the Caesar man. So let's check out his skills. Um, in the tower defense so detonating dealing 140 percent damage to up to 12 enemies also deals a additionally 40 percent damage per second for four seconds at the same time increases the attack power of heroes in the range by 100 percent okay after entering the battlefield greatly increases your attack power by 80 percent for eight seconds that's nice and claw attack with a tearing ability instead of a basic attack dealing 40% damage to a small range of enemies marks the enemy which deals 50% damage per second until the target dies oh that's nice okay so his pvp skills over here consumes 2 rage points summoning blazing claws across the ground dealing 190% damage to the enemy target will also mark the next star faction hero for resurrection so this is what why he is on uh, the fourth place so basically if you're gonna have freddy and after freddy ramses you're gonna resurrect automatically ramses and his trigger will reveal the ramses skill that i have uh, just told you about so let's continue we'll also mark the next okay after the hero dies he will be resurrected immediately and restore 70 percent hp Awesome, that's quite a decent skill, so remember put Freddy in front of a hero that you do want to uh, automatically resurrect. Okay, there is a 30% chance of smearing the enemy with poison, dealing 130% damage to the enemy target and paralyze them for a short period of time, reducing their attack power by 48%. <laughs> that's two rounds. And the last skill over here, Deadly Poison. After the battle begins, the enemy in, uh, is attacked with claws of poison. The enemy target will continue to bleed and wound, and wound can, cannot be healed. Wound cannot be healed, my bad. And uh, each time this 20% damage until the target is dead. Don't forget Freddy over here, Freddy Cougar. <laughs> okay, so my top 3 uh, for the blasters is Valkyrie over here. Valkyrie, my bad. So let's check out his third tower defense skills. So summons an incarnation of Valkyrie dealing 150% uh, damage. Valkyrie, my bad, up to 12 enemies in range. The powerful avatar will attack with 140% uh, damage base attack. 
and can intercept three enemies for three seconds okay summons a spirit with the same base attack damage as itself it can intercept three enemies for six seconds the blades will bounce between the enemies attack up to four enemies each dealing 100% damage increases damage to 20% after upgrading so this is the flying blade okay is the pvp skills over here consumes to reach points summons a spirit to assist you in attack dealing 227% damage also summons a guardian spirit valkyrie to get an additional 35% dodge rate oh that's nice making it difficult to get hit okay destiny guard warded by destiny triggers after evading dealing 80% damage to the enemy at the same time gains a blessing of fate rest resting 10% of your maximum hp okay 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 so the trial of fate there is a 50% chance of trial by fate by fate my bad to judgment uh, to judge the enemy dealing 100 36% damage to the target while increasing your own dodge by 30% so definitely she's gonna have a lot uh, a huge dodge rate over here so Valkyrie was my top three and we're gonna go on the second place over here and this one is gonna be Asura so let's check it out so the tower defense skills activates the Shura sword formation it uh, Shura swords drop information each dealing 80% damage up to five targets within range using the power of ghosts and gods build a huge vertical slash causing 50 percent damage to up to 12 enemies in a straight line when upgraded injured enemies will receive 20 percent additional damage to the next three seconds okay uses the power of ghosts and gods to wield a huge range of horizontal slashes causing 50 percent damage to up to 12 enemies within range upgrading will increase the chance while injured Enemies have a 30% damage to reduce movement speed. 30% chance. Sorry. Okay, so his PvP skills over here. Shura Field consumes two rage points, rapidly slashes the target, dealing 470% damage, and increases critical strike rate by 50%. Okay, there is a 50% chance that you can't see the flash, dealing 130% damage, 60% chance to release again up to five consecutive hits and the last one after each critical strike increases critical strike damage by 20 percent stacking up four, four times definitely a good thing okay so asura is my top two in uh, my top five assaulters and my first assaulter ladies and gentlemen is harmonia over here let's check her out so her tower defense skills the first one, Eternal Ram, creates an Eternal Ram, converting the entire field, lasting for 8 seconds, dealing 200% damage to all the enemies within range, and, and enemies take uh, an increase of 20% damage during this period, from the other heroes, obviously. Okay, presses your allies and friendly heroes in range, uh, will have their attack increased by 25%, increases to 32% after upgrading okay use the holy light instead of normal attack will cause damage to ground target in a small area the damage will not be reduced after upgrading the damage will increase by 10 percent hmm, pretty nice okay and her versus skills over here the first one divine shy sky my bad so consumes uh, two rage points dealing 20 percent uh, damage uh, of the target's hp limit so don't forget hp limit Dealing Divine Light that clears the enemy's attack and defense status effects. Also puts a forbidden effect for two rounds. Okay, Solar Eclipse over here. Use Purifying Light instead of a basing attack, dealing 12% uh, damage of your HP in damage to the enemy while restoring your HP by 3%. And the last one over here, Guardian Angel. Means a guardian angel immune to burning and bleeding effects for a maximum of 8 seconds while increasing your maximum HP by 35%. Nice one. Okay, guys, that's it for the top 5 blasters tier list over here. Hope you uh, at least agree with 2 or 3. If not, please do your uh, top uh, 5 ass assaulters list, drop a comment, and let me know which one you think are the best. 
and most probably I will uh, remake a video and let you guys know which uh, ones did you decide to uh, make uh, the top 5 assault rates. Until next time, take care, don't forget to subscribe and please hit that like button. Bye.